uh, 30 tahun uh, dan juga CEO Sri Pahang FC Datuk Sufian. Dan terus kita terus kepada uh, majlis hari ini majlis yang kita adakan cukup ringkas kepada peminat di luar sana majlis menatangi kontrak dan juga penyerahan JC skuad Sri Pahang FC. Jadi Datuk mungkin boleh teruskan dengan majlis hari ini. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Welcome to the club. Thank you. Terima kasih. Juga saya nak cakap uh, terima kasih ke Tato Raman dan Tato Odin juga. Uh, saya sangat gembira berada sini hari ini. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Okay. Okey, uh, sudah pasti uh, perkara ini kita uh, cukup uh, gembira eh, terutama kepada penyokong uh, Sri Pahang FC yang akhirnya uh, proses uh, mendatangani kontrak uh, pemain Kesan uh, Negara ini selesai uh, pada uh, Jumaat yang kalau boleh uh, penonton luar sana dah tahu hari ini merupakan uh, hari lahir ataupun birthday uh, Nuit Sirat uh, cukup simbolik uh, majlis hari ini diadakan uh, sempena ataupun jatuh pada hari lahir beliau Uh, dan uh, saya kira uh, Nick Surat akan memperkuatkan benting pertahanan untuk membentuk kombina- kombinasi uh, pemain-pemain seperti Muslim Ahmad dan juga Herod Gulaun yang juga penyokong dua sana yang tahu Pahang ketika ini baru saja uh, melerakai ikatan bersama Mohamed jadi kita teruskan dengan uh, majlis ataupun uh, kita lihat di sana uh, Nick Surat bersama JC baru skuad Sri Pahang FC Yang kita belum malu, dimaklumkan JC nombor berapa Datuk eh? Nombor 4 Ok uh, <laughs> Sirat akan memakai JC nombor 4 Untuk pasukan Sri Pahang FC Musim ini uh, Sekaligus akan uh, menjadi Ataupun tonggak sandaran bagi skuad Sri Pahang FC Ok ni Thank you very much Thank you very much, you very much. Appreciate yeah. Welcome to Sri Pahang FC Thank you Alright. Ok Datuk uh, dan juga Sirat Mungkin terus kepada uh, Cara seterusnya, majlis uh, sidang media ataupun uh, soal jawab bersama uh, Astro Arena First kali kita nak tanya Swirat lah uh, English boleh? Perasaan <laughs> kamu bagaimana Swirat? Apa? Apa perasaan kamu ketika ni? Uh, uh, saya, nah, saya sangat gembira uh, <laughs> Ini ini peluang yang bagus untuk saya dan saya harap saya boleh buat bagus untuk uh, negeri ini Dan uh, pesukan ini untuk uh, semua penyokong Okay Okay, you sign uh, you sign a contract with Pahang on your birthday. <laughs> Is all this uh, plan? No, no, I don't. I don't. I only told yeah. Tato yesterday, and obviously it's nice. It's a really nice uh, occasion for me. And like I said, <laughs> it's uh, it's a really special moment for me. Pahang's a massive, massive club, and to play for a team like Pahang is a massive honor for me and I hope I can do my best for the team. Okay, happy birthday, sir. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. Happy birthday to you, Thank you, bro. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Um, in a previous interview with me, you said uh, you received five offers. Uh, so why did you choose Pahang as your new destination this, this season? Um, being honest, uh, like I said, as soon as I hear Pahang are interested, When a player, a Malaysian player, gets an offer from a Pahang, uh, a massive club like Selangor a few years ago, I feel you've got to take it very seriously. And the way that Pahang conducted themselves throughout the whole uh, process was superb. The professionalism, the future for me and the club is very optimistic. I spoke to Lee Tuck, I spoke to uh, Simarin as well, and both of them said you must 
go there. It's a massive club, and um, and for me, it's just a great opportunity. Um, and this is why I play football to be playing with great fans, great players, and in a great stadium too. Thank you. Uh, Zul, izinkan saya untuk mencelah. Uh, saya tak boleh nak melepaskan uh, apa, satu detik yang simbolik untuk Nick Surat dan juga Sifah MC. Uh, Dato' saya nak tanya, si. adakah Dato' melihat uh, kehadiran uh, Nick Surat ini sebagai uh, satu uh, pelaburan long term untuk Sifah? Oh, ya, semestinya apabila kita memilih pemain, uh, pastinya menjadi harapan. Bukan hanya pada, pastinya kepada fan hmm. uh, untuk mengharapkan satu persembahan yang terbaik daripada mana-mana player atau pemain dan uh, harapan kami terhadap Syirat pada hari ini adalah memberi persembahan yang terbaik apatah lagi beliau adalah seorang yang kira termasyhur di liga di Thailand apabila membawa pasukan Nongba bekas pasukannya ke Division 1 dan alhamdulillah uh, bersyukur kepada Allah Subhanahu taala kerana pada hari ini dengan perkenan uh, punya kepada kelab yang mul yang mak mulia uh, Tengku Muda Tengku Rahman uh, bersama dengan lakan-lakan lembaga pengarah bersetuju untuk mendapatkan khidmat uh, Nick Swirat dan Alhamdulillah juga pada ini jelas kita dah perolehi pemain yang saya rasa uh, terbaik untuk berada uh, dalam barisan kesebelasan uh, utama uh, Sri Pahang FC okay. Nick, I know that uh, you uh, you mentioned that it was not planned to have this signing ceremony on your birthday but the number 4 jersey, was there a discussion about that? Datuk mungkin Datuk boleh kongsi kenapa nombor 4? Uh, kebetulan Kebetulan uh, berkaitan dengan hari jadi pada hari ini, saya pun agak bila saya melihat daripada agreement Pada uh, lahir ataupun pada kad penalan, nombor kad penalan Jelas pada ini, eh ini adalah merupakan hari berhenti pada Nick Swirat Dan uh, ini satu benda yang pada saya lah Satu big auspicious day for Nick Swirat and the team uh, Dan memberi satu perlambangan yang mungkin uh, hubungan yang baik uh, Seterusnya untuk pasukan dan juga uh, Nick Swirat Kerana ditandatangani pada hari lahir beliau uh, kontrak bersama Seri Pahang FC. Okay. Datuk, berapa tahun uh, Nick akan bersama Seri Pahang kontrak dia dan sebagainya? Okay. Uh, buat sementara ini kita akan uh, menghabiskan uh, baki hmm. untuk musim ini. Dan uh, saya pun dah telah berbincang dengan pihak uh, uh, pemain Nick uh, bersama dengan uh, barisan uh, lembaga pengarah. Uh, Kalau performa dia itu uh, bagus dan baik, saya kira tak mustahil untuk sesi 2021 yang merupakan plan sebenar pasukan seri uh, uh, 2022 uh, adalah merupakan plan sebenar untuk Pahang uh, lebih uh, menuju ke arah kegemilangan kerana uh, pada ketika itu insyaAllah ada pemain-pemain yang bakal dinetralisasikan dan juga dengan uh, uh, keampuhan barisan yang ada pada hari ini akan membentuk satu uh, uh, tenaga yang kuat bagi pasukan Sri Pahang pada 2022 nanti tapi saya faham ini saya masih Ini bola sepak dan papa, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, Nick. Uh, who is the who is the first player did you contact uh, in the, in your decision to join Pahang? Um, I contacted a few, to be honest. Although Lee Tuck, uh, Lee Tuck obviously um, speaks so highly of Pahang, and uh, Lee and Sumaran as well. Both of them said, just this is what football is about, you know, to play a, with a big team, like I said, and to be part of a. Um, just such prestige in Malaysia mm -hmm. is it's an honor for me. And I'm quite, like I said, when they first contacted me from where I was in Johor to now, I was humbled. And the way they've gone about their business the whole time, it's it's a no-brainer for me. Mm. I think I don't know if the fans could see, but behind you there's a jersey of uh, Pahang when they won the 2013 uh, Malaysia Cup. <laughs> uh, the team is on the upwards after uh, during this uh, second transfer window. Do you think that that's the, the case in Sri Pahang right now? The, the, the goal is to get back to where uh, Pahang football belongs yeah, with, for sure. with you at the, uh, in, in the defence. I mean, like I said, for me, I'm not going to say anything about me and what I think. It's, I've got to go and perform and there's a lot of good players there, young players, experienced players, foreign players and I just need to do my best for them. Uh, you have a good coach to as well. Yeah, of course. <laughs> no, but Dollar, I need to say thank you to Dollar as well because Dollar called me at the start as well and he was so warm and so welcoming that straight away again, like yourself, meeting yourself, like entering a family, yeah. so I hope I can do my best for that. Um, but yeah, it's been a, it's obviously been a difficult start to the season, but this is football and things can change like that. And the important thing is when things aren't going your way, you make changes, you work hard, mm -hmm. and that's what's happening now. Yeah. Nick, uh, do you think uh, opportunity to play in Thailand uh, make it your market race? Uh, be because uh, in early season, 
you have no team and mm -hmm. you have to, yeah, to force to play in Thailand. Yeah, yeah. It definitely helped me, yeah. It definitely helped me. Like I said, the way things went with Salango, I've learned lessons from that experience and I've grown from that experience. And obviously, the stuff with KL before that, which yeah. didn't work out for whatever reason, that left me in a, in a difficult situation. But like you said, things go, up, things go down, you've got to make the best of the situation. And going to Thailand definitely helped move me on as a player and a person. Mm, all right, okay. So how do you see the challenge? Uh, yeah, of course, in defense, uh, Pahang have uh, Muslim, Harold. So, yeah, what is it? No, there's a lot of good players there already. So it's not, I'm not going to come here and say I'm going to you know, change the team. Obviously, that's what I want to hear. But yeah. it's for me to work hard and prove myself and show what I can do. That's why when we spoke about the length of the contract, it's an issue for me. I need to go there and perform and try and help the team because there's a strong core of players there that are very good. And I just hope I can add and help that team. Okay. Nick, uh, I mean, one of the reasons that you couldn't stay in Thailand uh, is because of the national caps uh, mm -hmm. regulation. Do you uh, see this as a platform for maybe for you to get a national team uh, game time in the future? I mean, Junior Astar proved it. He mm -hmm. came back and he's in the national team right now. Do you think that's the case for you? Um, I think any Malaysian player, the end goal mm -hmm. is to go to the national team, you know, and yeah. being at a big club, it's only going to help my cause. Um, but for me, the main focus is to perform well uh, mm. for the club, mm. and what happens after that happens. But it's definitely in the back right. of my mind. But you know, for the time being, I'm focused yeah. on Pahang. Yeah. Okay, Datuk, ada lagi tiga hari uh, second window nak tutup. Datuk rasa ada lagi penambahan pemain untuk pasukan Sri Pahang FC? Uh, buat seketika ini memang uh, inilah saja perancangan yang ada. Dan um, uh, sekarang ini pun kita sedang uh, mendapat kelulusan daripada pihak uh, yang berwajib khususnya MFL, KBS untuk melaksanakan uh, bubble uh, uh, camp training dan pastinya dengan empat lagi pendatang baru ya yeah? uh, Manuel Hidalgo, uh, Can You Antiu, uh, kita ada uh, Abu Bakar Yakubu uh, dan juga uh, seorang lagi apa? Uh, uh, empat orang semuanya yeah. uh, ini mem memerlukan kepada uh, Kepasukan, satu pasukan untuk bergerak bersama untuk lebih uh, berdaya saing dalam liga uh, yang akan dibuka nanti pada Julai Apalagi kalau Nick Swirat bersama dengan tim, dia akan memberi satu impak yang sangat positif Dengan disiplinnya, dengan pengalaman bermain di luar negara, ya, di Thailand Dan ini akan membuat satu, uh, uh, membentuk satu pasukan yang cukup mantap pada saya uh, Dalam sesi uh, uh, Julai nanti yang kita akan bermula Tak lama lagi lagi dan kita akan supaya Keadaan uh, pandemik 19 ini agak gede, kita doakan sama-sama uh, Terutama sekali rakan-rakan uh, peminat di luar Kita doakan supaya Liga ini dapat diteruskan dengan keadaan baik Dan rakyat kita hidup dalam keadaan baik Dan uh, cabaran pandemik uh, 19 ini bukanlah uh, hanya untuk pemain Tetapi kesuluhan, termasuk keluarga mereka yep. Menjaga kesihatan dan sebagainya okay. Nick, uh, you can play uh, right back and centre back so, uh, Which position you prefer to play? <laughs> I'm a centre back, I know this is I'm a centre back, but it's not about you know my needs. It's about the needs of the team. Whatever I need to play, I do my best. Obviously, in an ideal world, it would be at centre back. But if it's other position, no problem. I do my best for the team. Okay, right. Nick, just a, a novelty question: Is this the first time you put on the Sri Pahang jersey? And what do you feel like? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the first. Yeah, it's, obviously <laughs> when we bought it today, I was surprised. It's a beautiful jersey. It's yeah. you know, and like I said, I was I was fortunate to play in Johor, Malacca, and then Selangor before this. And it's it's always a nice feeling when you think of the history and the of the club. So yeah, <laughs> it's a nice feeling for sure. Okay, but Pahang, um, I think, uh, struggled in this early season. Mm -hmm. uh, so what do you expect your challenge for this team? Again, it's I just I can't. It's not for me to talk about anything else. It's just for me to. Focus on my performance and like I said it's it's a good team there's good players there we know this uh, for whatever reason in football like I said it's up and down for me I just need to go there and try and have a positive impact on the team and that's that's really my only aim to just do my best and try and help the team as much as possible I mean, uh, it's interesting that you spoke that your is centre back. Of course, Azul has mentioned uh, uh, Harold's name, and of course, Muslim Muhammad. They are the mm -hmm. natural pairing in Sri Pahang. Mm -hmm. So, how do you do you intend to break into that position? <laughs> You're asking me <laughs> questions. Uh, yeah. No, but it, it's football. It's yeah. competition. You know, I've I played against uh, Muslim times. You know, Harold's obviously a great player yeah. too. So, 
I don't see it as going in there to compete with them. On the level, it is competing with them, but on the other hand, we're trying to work together for the best for the team. So, you know, that's down, it's down to the coach. But if I play, if I don't play, I'll be doing my best on or off the pitch, you know. But hopefully, I'll be playing. <laughs> that's the best attitude I want to hear. Datuk, hmm. yeah. Datuk yeah. rasa ni satu benda yang positif. Coach Dola uh, mungkin pening kepala sebab ada option yang berkualiti dalam tim. Uh, saya rasa uh, dari segi taktikal ataupun penyusunan uh, pemain, yeah. Coach Dola dah matang, hmm. dah mahir right. dan seorang legenda. Dia dah faham bagaimana pemain boleh adaptasi dengan taktikal hmm. ataupun corak permainan. Uh, mungkin uh, sistem permainan mungkin berubah. Mungkin kita boleh main tiga di belakang, hmm. mungkin uh, macam-macam corak je. Tetapi sebagaimana disebut oleh uh, Nick tadi, uh, akhirnya permainan bola sepak adalah bagaimana kamu menunjuk diri hmm. kamu untuk bersaing secara sihat dan penilaian itu dibuat oleh pihak kejurulatihan, khususnya Coach Dola untuk meletakkan dia di barisan kesebelasan utama. Dan uh, pokok pangkanya harus bersaing. Bila bersaing itu barulah nampak pasukan itu lebih mantap dan sebagainya. Ia tak menjanjikan maknanya kalau you main Uh, center back, you akan bermain center back sepanjang masa Mungkin taktikal akan berubah Itu bergantung pada corak uh, Barisan kejurutan khususnya Coach Dola Saleh okay. uh, I think last question for uh, Your last word for Pahang fans And uh, yes. uh, what do you think For, yelah for, I mean, <laughs> this, uh, make it you uh, as a new team Yeah Um, no, first of all, let's say thank you uh, for the messages and the welcome. It's truly humbling and it's an honour to be part of this family. And I just, I want everyone to, you know, to know that um, I'm obviously I'm going to do my best for the, team, for the state, uh, for the boss, and for everyone involved with the club. And I believe that we know that Pahang are a, a massive team in Malaysian football. They should be high up the table. They should be challenging. And I hope that. Um, with the players and the squad and the team and the coach we have, I can help move the club forward in that direction. Yeah. And this is the comeback, Nick. This is the comeback. Hope so, mate. Okay. Uh, terima kasih Nick Suret dan juga Datuk Sufian, uh, CEO Sipang FC. Uh, dan maka lengkaplah uh, proses uh, perpindahan uh, Nick Suret ke Sri Pahang FC yang sekaligus saya rasa pemain ke-5 ataupun ke-6 pemain baru bagi pasukan ini dan ini akan memberi cabaran baru dan juga cabaran cukup kuat bagi Sri Pahang FC kembali memperbaiki prestasi terutamanya untuk misi uh, kekal dalam Liga Super 2021 uh, itu saja daripada saya dan juga Syarazat Sani uh, kita jumpa lagi Assalamualaikum